Is this my water or your water, Jay? Uh, that's for sure your water. Because I don't have one. <laughs> you're right, you're right. I like the game ping pong, you just can serve up a question. Ping is the most famous multiple. I love it because really all of this technology already exists. Yeah. For people to do exactly this, but not with the demographic that he is referring to. It's freaking brilliant. Yeah. It's great. Such a fan of it. Yeah. <sighs> Go bear. Wow. Wow. Oh, okay. Words, words, Smithy. All right, guys, we gotta talk. What's up, man? I got an idea. Oh, one second. Why are you mic'd? Well, I might have prepared for this idea. Okay. Wait, there's also a camera dude here. I might have really prepared for this idea. <laughs> okay. 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 We're listening. All right, but serious. It's serious, though. We're not messing around here. All right. Okay. I'm constantly on the phone with people every day, as you guys know, talking to people who want to fulfill their dreams by starting an app company. Yeah. And they sit on these ideas for like years sometimes. It's crazy. Until somebody comes out with it and then they're sitting at home going, I should have done that. Yep. Right? Yep. And I'm tired of it. I don't know why they take so long. In fact, I think we can do it much faster. How much faster? Oh yeah. All right, so this is where it gets crazy. You guys might disagree with me. You guys might not even want to do this, but you're not busy right now, right? right. Yeah, <laughs> you're not busy right now. Okay, so here's the thing. I saw Russell Brunson do this video where he created a funnel that could make money in 60 minutes. Wow. I want to one-up him. I want to start an app company in 60 minutes. Okay. 60 minutes, it's not impossible. I'm not listening to you now. <laughs> what, do you, what do you have to say, Rob? <laughs> 60 minutes. And here we are, 60 minute startup. Um, what do I think about it? I think it's a bad idea. 60 minutes. Okay, obviously we can't make an app in 60 minutes. Okay. Right? Can't you, dev an app in 60 minutes. Sure. We can't dev an app in 60 minutes. But I think we can come up with a, a, a viable concept. Okay. The name for it. I think we can we can create some product screens, and yeah. I think we can create an investment deck, yeah. and I'll and I'll one up that. So if you guys think I'm asking too much from you, I'm gonna get investors lined up in 60 minutes okay. <laughs> to listen to us okay. on a product we don't even know what we're gonna talk about yet. Yeah, I think we can do all of that in 60 minutes. So I want to challenge you to the 60 minute startup. This really sounds like a baking show. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna make a lot more than a cake. <laughs> I only have one other question. Okay. Why did you come to the door? There's yeah. this it's it's habit, it's <laughs> habit. I don't know, I, I didn't notice yeah. that. I had this idea to do a 60 minute startup and honestly, I, I wasn't sure if the guys were gonna do it. I wasn't sure if they were gonna think I was crazy and so uh, they bought it. They bought it. So I, I think uh, I think we're actually moving along. But they said I was crazy, didn't they? They said I was crazy. John's a little crazy. It might be crazy enough to actually work. But uh, I definitely think next time I see him with a microphone, I'm running. We obviously can't sit around and debate our best ideas, but. I've been baking one a little bit, and it's in the space, you guys know my favorite space, the FinTech space. Love it. I personally think the industry has not done its best work yet. I think we can make something better than anything that's out there, and we can do it in 60 minutes. I'm in. Okay, so here's my thought. I think we start with a savings app, or what we call a micro savings app, for FinTech. Let's talk about what problem we're solving. Who's our target? Yeah. Well, I, FinTech. I, I don't think people are giving up their banks when yeah. they're my age, right? I don't think that's happening yeah. too much. Yeah. Maybe a little bit. So I think we're talking about people in their 20s okay. and maybe 30s. So we're talking about a younger person who doesn't care about banks, doesn't have a relationship with their banks, who's going to try to save money in different ways. Maybe they want to save for a trip. Maybe they want to save for uh, to pay off their, their student loan debt, yeah. right? Maybe these are the things that they're trying to do. So I want to find a way for them to 
seamlessly, easily, plug and play, save their money out of their bank account okay. without all the hassle and friction. See, here's the problem. Banks have created friction. They're not taking it away yeah. from people. Right. We want to create a bank that can take away the friction, make people's lives easier. Yeah. Simpler, the better. If we're going to start this, the simpler, the better. Well, it's I good. We only have 60 minutes. I know we created some <laughs> complex we have less than six. tools before we have yeah. seven. Yeah. To me, the power of a real savings tool like this is going to be in the AI. I right? agree. Talk, talk to me about that. What do you mean? Hey, app save, you know, $10 every week. But then there was a layer of artificial intelligence that communicated with me that said some things like, hey, we noticed you just spent $25 at dinner. Would you like to put $2 in your savings fund? Yeah. And it's like a savings buddy. Yes. Watching your back. That's yes. smart. Okay. That's trying to help you. Okay. AI is the future of this. Yes. For sure. But in the beginning, we don't need to create AI. No. We can just create a great savings app yep. right. and then look to build the AI later right. after we have some data, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So cool. I think the first thing that I want to talk about then is what is our MVP since we're at 55 yeah. minutes now? Yeah. yeah. Top to bottom, somebody needs to be able to create an account, right? Uh, need yeah. Some account controls. Okay. Um, yeah. We need to be able to create savings buckets is it one bucket or ah, i like so, multiple buckets i think there's that's the reason so why people the, come to in do the these. past we've had complexities with the multiple bucket idea because of the way we we're saving it. if we are saving it simply multiple buckets is really easy so multiple buckets so if we keep the savings simple then we can have lots yes. of buckets because, because your bank sure. won't let you do that in fact i opened an ally account two weeks ago and they already want to close it because i haven't put a deposit in there yes are you talking about different yeah Buckets for saving goals? Yes. Yes. Okay. Goals. Okay. Yeah, like I want to go to Europe or I want to, Got you know, it. pay off my student loan debt. Yeah. So we probably need a view of like like some sort of log of all the transactions that went back and forth from your account. So like a ledger. Ledger yeah. viewable on your dashboard. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. And then I think for each goal, you need a view into that goal. Like tell me how that's doing and show me some analytics about it. Right, just not a lot, just a little bit of analytics based on. Give that. me some feedback. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's good. That's, okay. that's normally what it is. I want a certain amount of money yep. by this time. Yep. Isn't yep. that how most people say? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I want to pay even if I want to pay off debt. I want to pay off this debt by this date. Yep. Right. Right. There's always time and amount. If you're on target, you're off target. You know, you hey, if you just get another dollar more. Um, that was so we're really encouraging them all the time. Like if you just added a dollar, you could get there, a, you know, a month earlier, two yeah. months earlier, yeah. something like that. Yeah. yeah. Even though we're only seven minutes in, we've said this two or three times, pay off I, debt. I, I agree. So I want to challenge us to push 20s to 30s to even a more niche market. Okay. And say for the MVP, not that it can't expand. Sure, sure, sure. Et cetera, but to paying off debt. Like that's the thing that we're going to be known for is paying off debt. So our goals initially are around this. People are so okay with living in debt. The, the thing that they actually enjoy is like, I'm saving up money to get a new X, get a yeah. new table, get a new refrigerator. Yeah, yeah, that's more exciting than paying off my debt. <laughs> you know, we're going to help you get to your goals, whatever they are, whether it's to take a trip or to pay off your debt. Like we're going to help you get to your goals. I think branding wise, we want... To, to do that. Yep. And I don't know if I told you guys, but I think I have a name. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you did come prepared. A little bit. I had the microphone. Uh, so I started to think about money, and I think, you know, what we're trying to do is we're trying to make it rain. So I think we should call it rain. Done. Done. That's totally fine. That's easy. It's great. Yeah. Rain. Rain. Okay. We're 11 minutes in. I think the biggest thing we need to cover before so that Jason can get on the product, because we, I, I want to have this ready to go in about five minutes or three minutes. We have three minutes and 55 seconds to decide how the savings work. I think that's okay. the thing. Let's let Jason have the board and let's go from there. We got a picture yeah. of this? Okay. Got a picture? Yeah, yeah, I think Well, we do have a video too, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think the savings rules is the thing we want to agree on. Yeah. Here yeah. for, um, and then we got 45 minutes to get investors, create an investment deck and a product. Yeah, right. 
<laughs> keep moving, Jay. <laughs> okay, let's start out. First time in, I created my account. What should I see next? And instead of giving people um, buttons to push, I think we should walk through the process. So, okay. first screen would be like, what? I'm just writing here. Um, what are you saving for? So, kind of, this is this is the first onboarding yep. kind of thing. Okay. So we're walking them through, hand, hand holding their hand. Mm-hmm. Um, what are you saving for? So, what are you saving for? Trip to Paris. Yeah, yeah. Paris sounds great. I Paris. haven't been there yet. <laughs> what they're doing. What are they saving for? How much? And when? Because if they say debt, then we learn something different about them, right? Yeah. What's next is we keep the keyboard up or we'll move it to number keyboard. Oh, is that a keyboard? Yes. <laughs> I knew that. I've seen his keyboards before. <laughs> <laughs> Very rudimentary. <laughs> we never said Jason's a good artist. You don't have to be an artist to build an app. Nope. Rule one. Okay. okay. How much do you need? Somebody throw it up. 500 bucks. Oh, oh, Paris, oh, yeah. 3,000. Yeah. Yeah. That's about right. So three thousand. Yeah. So just for sake of discussion. Sure. Yeah. For sake of discussion, when am I going? Yeah. And does that matter for this, or is it just a single date? I, I just, think it's a single date on so when they when think they need the, the money, money by. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. When do you need the money by? Yeah. Setting a date totally makes sense. So the simplest form is we're really focused on date and amount of money. When do we need the money by? Uh. Okay. Tch- yeah, let's see. Let's see. Well, it's too close. Let's May. let's call it, you know, August or something. So it's not insane. So before we connect the bank, let's ask how you want to save the money. So how would you like to? Yeah, save that's money, good. Right? Yeah, so yeah. Um, give them three options. Ask, right there. Yeah, yeah. How shall we save? He's <laughs> just dropped into old English. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> how shall we? <laughs> how shall we? How shall we save, save sir? <laughs> <laughs> Can we have the settings choose King James Version? Yeah. <laughs> right. Is there anything else that's relevant? I think to this? simply, I, I think per week, per day, I, I feel big, like. Big call to action. Like yeah, I feel like that's day. the simplest way to save. I mean, we could get into a lot more possibilities, but, but I think for MVP, we mm-hmm. keep it simple. So we can suggest. Right, I would like it to calculate for me what yeah. I need to save. Next day. screen, it's like, you need to save it yes. per day. Exactly, right, I walk Starting through this today. setup and okay. yeah. it tells me what I need to do. Yeah, that's so really nice. that's the smart thing yeah. we're, tra- we're at. I think the thing that would come after this would be connecting a bank. I don't think we need to pencil that out together. No, I think the only we're thing good. else that we should pencil out together is what, after I do all of that, what does it look like on my home screen, right? Right, oh. then, okay, yeah, so I've completed all those things. Then, if I've already done that, yep. then I go to my dashboard. And we have this data. Right. It's come back. And we have the multiples. Visualize so, so, so I think we need some sort of create another bucket thing. Yeah. And then, if I have multiple goals, I'd like to see progress bars of some kind. Well, or let's, no. let's focus on a goal, right? So let's do this. Yep. Then we can add another one like that. Yep. And then you probably just need, like, that's cool, actually. This. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. Some settings. Okay, this might be too far, but I gotta say it now because this is where my head's at. If this lives here, however it shakes down visually, and then yep. here's all of the Paris flight deals. Oh yeah, down the road. That's right, great. Right below yeah. It. yeah. Yeah. And we're just getting transactions off of that. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah once we do that, yeah. once we get this data, we have all kinds of ways to make money. Well, you can make this. Which is why I don't want to charge for buckets, Jay. If I <laughs> He's trying to get all of them dollars. Trying to get, I'm going for the big, the big, yeah, I, big win, I not the little one. Uh, <laughs> okay. Trying to make money. So all I right. think that's a great place for you if I tap into your. All right, we got to get moving. Okay. I gotta try to raise a million dollars in 36 minutes. So let's do it. I think we're <laughs> this is gonna cost a million dollars. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Robbie loves this kind of pressure. He performs the best under the gun like this, and I know he's gonna put together an awesome deck. And I think it's it's probably gonna be. of the actual deck we show to investors. I would typically do a much longer presentation for an investor deck, but uh, given the squeeze on time, uh, I'm probably gonna do maybe mm, 15 slides, and I'm just gonna do some simple setup stuff, 
uh, talk about some quick consumer insights that I already know about, um, talk about the problem that we discussed, um, and then what is our market opportunity? Just gonna do some quick research on those things and then talk about what solutions I know are already out there and then what we think is a potentially a better solution for those things. Uh, Robbie's maybe the best I've ever seen at putting together decks and he definitely gives John a little bit of deck insecurity, but that is a off the camera moment. It's gonna be really, really light, just enough to give an investor an idea of what is the big picture for this app idea that we're trying to put together within 60 minutes. So it won't be a full deck presentation like I would typically do, but basically what we're trying to do is show that it doesn't take months and months and months and years and years and years to sit on a great idea. That you've really just got to force yourself to get in motion, set a date on it, set some time around it, get some parameters going and just pedal to the metal to see what happens. Um, and then you're continuing to learn and finagle and iterate as you go. I wouldn't start something like this just from scratch. You know, there are all kinds of like really good, you know, templates of wireframes, you know, that somebody can go download. So I've been doing this for a long time. I have this file that's, I call it my base wireframes, and it's got everything from startup workflows to FinTech functionality. So I'm just gonna start by really reproducing my base wireframes, create a project out of that, and then taking the pieces that already exist and kind of reformatting those to turn that into uh, the actual app. So uh, this will definitely cut down a lot of time. Something like this from scratch, you know, could take 30, 60, 90 days for somebody to really think through all this process. But as you know, we've only got 60 minutes. So I'm definitely gonna be cutting some corners here. I've been working with Jason for 18 years. And when I put him under the gun like this, I get the best work out of him, but he also looks so freaking stressed out. Hey, but he performs. Jason Martinez, I think if he spent less time on the trampoline and more time designing, yeah, we might all be on the golf course. Uh, so the trampoline, it's more and less about stress, more about keeping myself in motion. Yeah, sometimes you're staring at your computer all day long and you gotta get up, gotta move around. And I have this firm philosophy that motion is a good way to do that you know so i jump on the trampoline you know one of the things i find is that when you're trying to reach investors when you're doing that what a lot of people do is they just basically think um you know an investor is just they're going to meet one investor and that that's going to work out so i think you need to approach it more like a sales job and so uh to start up rain what i'm going to do is i'm going to set up a pipeline i'm going to set up a crm and i'm going to start to figure out through that process, you know, who's interested, who's not interested, who needs to get investment docs. You know, as we go through and we start making presentations, we need to be organized. So I'm gonna walk these investors through this process. So what happens is they start out as a lead. These are just people who I'm interested in talking to. Once I've made contact with them, I'm gonna put them in this bucket and then I'm gonna schedule a demo or an investment presentation. I'm gonna see who's interested after the presentation. And then once they seem interested, we're gonna get docs out to them from the, from the uh, attorney. And that is just saying, hey, here's our offering. And then docs back in, that's after they're signed. And then that's when you get the wire and the money's in the bank. So that's pretty much how the process works. It's that simple. If you approach it like a sales process, it's not that different. So I'm gonna start reaching out to some people. I kind of already did a little bit of that. So uh, I'm gonna start putting people in the pipeline. This person actually great investor. He loves FinTech. He actually has a, an accelerator that I've talked to. Uh, I've never gotten an investment from them, but they seem really, really interested in FinTech. So I think they're a great uh, company for me to reach out to. He actually already agreed that he can talk to me today. So I'm gonna put him in the pipeline. What I try to do is just spread the word. I'm not just talking to people who have money, but I'm also talking to the people who know the people who have the money. So what I'm trying to do is just get the word out that I'm looking for investment and get that out on the streets. So, okay, so I have this one. This, this is a really good early stage. This one's a hot lead. I would definitely put this one on a hot lead section. So he's really busy. So I'm gonna say, <laughs> if you have time this week, you have time this week. Right now, I feel pretty good. I've got two meetings scheduled. This just proves to you if you put a little bit of work and you get organized that you can really, uh, really reach out to investors pretty quickly. It's it's not near as, uh, as mystical as people think it is. So the other tasks I wanted to do, I wanted to register a domain. So we have like a domain. 
Um, I think people with apps, they get really caught up in you know, having the .com. I don't think it's that important. Uh, with a name like Rain, I don't expect to get the .com. One last thing I like to do uh, when we're starting something new is I like to register the app. It's really important because it's actually way more important than the .com. Have the app registered uh, with Apple and making sure that nobody can just grab that. So I'm actually gonna do some searches on my phone real quick to see kind of what's available. Nowadays with apps, you can't really get just the name. You kind of, unless it's super unique, you kind of need to have a dash in there in most cases. So like I'm just gonna type in rain and as I see that, I see like this calming app, which I actually have that app, I thought. <laughs> you know, it seems like we're pretty good in the FinTech space with the name rain. I don't see anything that's really taking it up. And we'll do a more of exhaustive approach later with the trademarking and all that with the attorney. But in the beginning, I just don't think that the, that's important. So um, I think the one I really want is like rain dash savings. And I think if we had that, that would be fine. We'll try to improve it, maybe get a better one. But at this level, when you're just starting, you wanna move fast, you wanna get going. All the things that stop you, it, it's just not important. You need to keep moving. I'm not gonna call an attorney today and get that all done, but I do wanna register the app just in case. I'm just gonna have my dev team do that. <laughs> that. That's the luxury of having a dev team. All right, can you guys do me a big favor? <laughs> can I get you to register the name on iOS, the name rain-savings? Yeah. Just spelt normal, rain-savings. Cool? All right, yeah. awesome. All right, let's go, let's see how the guys are doing. Come on, Bear. All right, how are we doing? Meeting every single market by doing comments. I'm hitting stretch goals right now. You're, you're there? I'm hitting stretch goals right now. Oh, you're hitting stretch, hitting stretch goals already? Yeah. See, I feel like we could do this. I feel like you guys underestimated the potential here. <laughs> All right. <Ourselves. laughs> you underestimate yourself. Okay, so um, I, I'll tell you, this is like legit. I'm not even bullshitting you at all. Yeah. I've got three meetings already scheduled for this week before Friday, so I hope the deck's good. Wow. <laughs> and, uh, well, these are just initial phone calls. Sure. I've got four names in the hopper. Um, we got the domain, get this, makeitrain.app. Not bad, right? It's not taken. Makeitrain.app is not taken, and right. makeitrain.com is not being used, so we might be able to purchase that down the road, yeah. right? That's good if we get some money, right? Yeah. So um, we registered the app, rain-savings. That's good. Yeah. That's pretty solid, right? We can see if we can improve it. Got the pipeline going and I made some phone calls. So I feel pretty good. I feel like we're in a good spot. All right, let me see, let me pull in some of the dev team. Hey, guys got a few minutes, we can show you what we did. All right, you can grab a cookie too. <laughs> I can use a little bit of a break right Yeah, let's take a break. <laughs> We're gonna show you what we did. Very excited guys, very excited. <laughs> <laughs> it's still part of the, yeah. Yes, definitely. Maybe you wanna explain why you have the mic on. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. I don't walk around with a mic in here all the time, do I? No, no. I was sometimes. So I got really tired of the companies we're talking to all the time taking so long to start a company. So I challenged these guys. I thought we could create a company in 60 minutes. You know, we've been wanting to work on a new app for ourselves. And so we want to show you what we did. Go ahead, Jen. Sweet. So uh, obviously we didn't knock out all. Said it <laughs> it's not ready for development. Yeah, it's <laughs> close. All right, so somebody gets this far. Hi, Jason. Welcome to When We Need the Money Buy. How often would you like to save one time per week or one time, once per day? Um, and right now, we're just, those are the only two choices. There's no other complexity. Makes it super simple, yeah. yeah. Then we connect to the bank. I didn't really spell out all those steps yet. So the idea is we really see the future of this as artificial intelligence. Yeah. Being their saving buddy, essentially. Yeah. You know, some simple like, hey, we noticed you just, you know, bought some groceries. You want to pump $2 into your, 
your goal. Mm -hmm. and yeah, if they put their debit card in, we're gonna have a whole bunch of data to work with, right? So if we can create that and shuffle that the right way by just doing something simple in the front and yeah. then have all the complexity really happening on the backside. And yeah. when you didn't spend any money, you should just throw 25 extra bucks in this. We're just probably an hour or so away from actually, <laughs> like, whipping up a little mock-up. Yeah. Um, it's just gonna be a mock-up. You know, obviously it's, it might look a little yeah, different. Yeah, very rough. But it's cool. Um, something good enough to throw on a deck to put in front of people and say, mm -hmm. and this is what we're thinking, kind of much. Cool. Awesome. Nice. Robbie, you want to show sure. us what you got? Yeah. All right. I think I have a mic and Facebook login on it also. Oh. Yes. Some sharing. Yeah. Yeah. Because that way we get access to their Facebook. It makes it easy. Hey, share, share what I'm saving. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. I like that. More of a social sharing. I like it. So this is a totally truncated version, but actually not that truncated because we've done so much work, all of us internally here before, we have a lot of material to pull from. So I was able to piece together some other decks that we'd already done. That Again, just cool. proving that it doesn't have to take forever to create or accomplish something like that. So yeah. title card, <clears throat> and then we go into consumer insights, and I'm not gonna go through all this stuff, but you know, the truth is that nothing stays the same. There's some great examples. Um, so what's the opportunity? It's <laughs> at least $8.3 trillion when we're talking about the millennial audience that we were referring to. And then what's their desire? Um, they want to save for short-term experiences. They're not necessarily, not to overgeneralize, but they're not necessarily trying to save for um, homes and cars and things like that. They just want experiences. So it's yeah. very experientially driven. So we know that about them. They got to fill up their Instagram. And exactly, <laughs> exactly. They yeah, have something to post. Content, content, yeah. content. Love it. <laughs> we also know about millennials is that they just don't trust banks. Um, but what they do trust are tech companies. Um, because <laughs> yeah. um, the, we kind of set the landscape before we jump into what our solution would be. And then we would say, you know, meet right and save for a rainy day, uh, a new like car, it. a trip to Italy, or pay off some debt. Whatever your goal, make it rain. And then we would show the screens that Jason has already created um, to kind of round it out. And then Bam! I like it. Good stuff. Yeah. Did that all in an hour, huh? Yeah, uh -huh. not rocket science. And we have three <laughs> meetings for money. Yeah, already. And so. John's already set up some yeah, yeah. investors. Yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> we already like Claim the name in the app store as well. Yeah, there you oh, go. Did you already? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rain Dash Savings. Nice. So, yeah. Ray claimed rain. <laughs> <laughs> Part of the thing I wanted to prove today is I wanted to prove that you can really get going, that the biggest part of doing a startup is starting. It's not, it's not sitting there and trying to make everything perfect. We don't have the perfect domain, we don't have the perfect screens, and we don't have the perfect deck. But it's, you gotta get going, you gotta start, you gotta be okay with okay sometimes. And so um, I think everybody sees everything as a roadblock where I try to see them as speed bumps. Speed bumps, yeah, slow down, think about it, but roll over them. Don't let it stop your progress, you have to keep going. And so I think what I wanted to prove today is if you get three people in the room that have the same focus and the mindset to get started, and that's all we're trying to do today is get started that we can make a startup happen today. When I first started this, I, I thought we were just gonna do this as a stunt. Now I'm like really thinking we should just do this. So is this one video or are we gonna do a bunch? I don't know, we'll find out. <laughs>